Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at and do some testing with these S&B 338 Lapua Magnum 250 grain hollow point boat tails. From what I've read, these just use the Sierra 250 grain boat tail hollow point match projectile. But on the box there's no stated velocity. So today we're going to shoot a few of these through the chronograph, try and register the velocity. And after that, we'll break a couple of these down and take a look at the components. And we'll be using my Savage 111 Long Range Hunter with a 26 inch barrel. Alright, let's see what kind of velocity we get out of these SMB 250 grain hollow point boat tails. Twenty-eight forty-nine. It's actually a little bit more than I expected. Twenty-eight seventy-one. And 28.54. And now that we know the velocity, I would say these are slightly underpowered for a 338 Lapua round. First, let's check the OALs. So that's our cartridge overall length of these five rounds. Now let's pull a couple apart. Got one pulled apart, and it's a, such a massive cartridge with so much powder in it, it doesn't even seem like all the powder will come out inside the bullet puller until I pull the case out. Yeah, that's the most powder I've ever seen out of any cartridge I've pulled apart. Although the biggest round I've ever fired or disassembled before this was an 8mm Mauser. Anyways, let's weigh out the powder charge. So we're getting about 86.4 grains of some stick powder. Not exactly sure what kind of powder it is, as I have not started reloading for this cartridge yet. But there's an up close look at it, maybe one of you guys can tell what it is. But whatever it is, we got 86.4 grains. And here's our projectile. As I said earlier in the video, I'm pretty sure this is just Sierra's 250 grain hollow point boat tail match projectile. It's weighing in at exactly 250 grains, wow. Let's check the length and width of the bullet. It's 1.581 inches long, and hopefully 338 diameter. And yep, 338 diameter, the brass alone, 2.716 inches. Alright, number two is pulled apart. And this one's powder charge is coming in at 86 grains even. And obviously it's the same stick powder. See if the bullet weighs the same. 250.3, slightly heavier projectile with a slightly less charge. Bullet number two, 1.581 inches. I think that's exactly the same as the first one. And 338 diameter also, 2.723 inches. Okay, so now we know the velocity on these rounds, and we took a real quick look at the components and the dimensions of the cartridges themselves. And although these are just 250 grain bullets, which isn't the heaviest 338, they go all the way up to 300 grains, these are some super long, gigantic looking projectiles. Just to put it into perspective, there's a 223 and a 308 next to these 338s. These are all probably around middle-ish weight for caliber. None of them are on the heaviest side. The 223 is a 52 grain ELD match. The 308 is a 150 FMJ. And the 338s, of course, are 250 grains. So those 338s just look like monsters. They're super long. Anyways, that's all for this video. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. If there's anything else specific you guys want to see done with these rounds, or the 338 in general, or just anything firearms related in general, any kind of video, just make sure to let me know. And also, if you want, check out my Facebook page. I post short little shooting clips that you guys might enjoy. The content isn't the same as my YouTube videos. It's kind of just like short clips of it, maybe some slow-mo action. But anyways, that's all for now, and until next time, thanks for watching.